David is the first participant in the Lower Extremity Sensory Restoration Project to take the sensory neuroprosthesis home and in the community. By using the technology outside of the lab, he has been able to experience what it is like to feel his lost foot again after more than 10 years. I get up in the morning and I put fresh batteries in it, get it put on, head out to the gym, do my workouts. But I do everything. I, you know, I can do everything with it. I do housework, work on cars. A former Army medic, David comes into the Cleveland VA Medical Center a few times a month to work with the research team at the APT Center. He has given very important feedback on ways to improve the system and its usefulness during activities of daily living. It's been a very good ex learning experience for me. It's, I really feel like we're a team. This technology has the potential to help lower limb amputees with uneven terrain or stairs by improving their balance and confidence, and maybe even reducing the concentration needed to walk. But I can see that there are people that are much more handicapped than I am. It could very well help them out a lot. And I can feel the transition points when I step pressure on my heel, rock forward. I can feel the midfoot come in, the toes starting to become on. And, you know, it's not exactly the same. I don't think it ever will be exactly the same, but it's so realistic. It's something a person can work with. The goal of this project is to determine the benefits of a sensory neuroprosthesis to amputees and one day fill the gap between prosthetic and natural limbs.